like 21, it's a knife, bust a left, I got drunk and took a right, I'm so high, you fuck with me, I'll take your life, and then take your life, bring you back to fuck her twice, hey. I'm in the cut, oh yeah, she wanna fuck, oh yeah, that little bitch cut, bro, yeah, she give me deep throat, yeah, sis like Lee, low, combination no cheat code, yeah, I got the G code, none gon' sing, gon' glee, mo, yeah. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is another little commentary video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some like crazy ass shit that has happened in the last few days. Um, I would say I news um, outlets started reporting on this like three days ago, but pretty much we all know about Comic Con and normally Comic Con's hosted in like big cities like LA and San Diego. I think they've been doing San Diego for a while. I don't know, every time I hear about Comic-Con, it's in San Diego or, like, Los Angeles. But usually San Diego and shit like that. But, um, <clears throat> pretty much, um, it's kind of confusing. So, I'm kind of, like, trying to read the news article and get back to kind of where I was at thing, um, with this. Because it's a crazy-ass story. But pretty much the whole, um, human trafficking, um, services or the human traf- I, the law enforcement that deals with human trafficking and shit, they set it up. They set up the sting operation to pretty much catch human traffickers at fucking Comic Con, and it's kind of the last place you would think like human traffickers would be. But also, if you think about it, like it's almost like a perfect breeding ground for those kind of people. As fucked up as that sounds. It's almost like Disneyland for these kind of motherfuckers. Because the thing is, though, there's a whole bunch of people that come to these events. So like, at least 100,000. So, again, if you're a human trafficker and you're looking for victims, there's a whole bunch of them coming here. Um, usually, Comic-Cons, like, has cosplay and shit. So, again, women attend this shit and they usually do well revealing clothing if that's, like, a cosplay or some shit. And then, also, those children... So, when you think in, like, a human trafficker's mind or whatever, that's kind of, like, your target that you're trying to get are, like, women and children, and they go to these events, so it's almost like, you know what I'm saying? It's fucked up to think like that, but it's almost like a perfect breeding ground for that kind of bullshit. And so, they pretty much set up the sting and ended up catching 14 fucking people. 14 and 10 potential, uh, 10 potential, no, I cannot fucking speak, and I fucking ate it, and they caught, uh, they caught 14 people, but then also, um, were able to help 10 potential, um, fuck, I'm not even gonna try to say it, um, you know what I'm trying to say, but they ended up helping 10 people out, 10 victims and shit, so, um, pretty much from my knowledge, Nine of them were adults, and they were all women, I'm pretty sure. So, nine women, like, adults. And then they had one child, which was 16 years old, which is fucking crazy. Like, what What in the fuck? Like, the, uh, what are you, like, you know, it's just crazy as fuck. But, um, pretty much they ended up receiving services and stuff that they needed. They got the help they needed and shit. And they are still receiving the help they needed. Um, it just is fucking crazy. And pretty much they came out with a statement saying pretty much, unfortunately, like, sex traffickers and shit capitalize on large-scale events such as Comic-Con to exploit their victims for profit. So if that's, like, finding adult victims or trying to sell off this kind of shit, because, again, if you think about it, too, what kind of dudes are usually going to these kind of conventions? Usually geeks and fucking nerds and shit, and I wouldn't say they're always getting the most putang. So they could also find buyers here. So they could find buyers. They could find victims. It, it, you now see what the fuck I'm saying. This this is crazy. It's almost like, like I said earlier, as disgusting as it is, it's almost like a perfect breeding ground for them, which is, it's just awful to, like, you know, kind of think about. But um, pretty much they um, just said, hopefully these arrests send a clear message to not fuck around, find out. And honestly, it's just it's disgusting to even think like people would do that kind of shit. And sadly, we live in a world where people would do that kind of shit. Just only the disgusting pieces of shit that are greedy as fuck and will sell people for money or sell their bodies for money and all that crazy shit. 
And I just feel bad that there was, like, someone, like, as young as 16 somehow involved in all of this. Luckily, they were able to help out the people and shit and get them out of that shitty situation. But I can't believe they caught 14 motherfucking pedophile like you could call them pedophiles technically since like human traffickers and they had a fucking 16 year old girl with them like what the fuck that's a pedophile shit and they just pretty much said like the whole operation was very disturbing as it should like would be because again you're probably having to talk with these disgusting ass people and then you kind of have to play the role into it and get their trust so you probably have to talk about disgusting shit which kind of you know you have to jump into the rabbit hole of shit and then also god forbid once they do capture the person or the people, the the 14 people they captured, they have to go through their hard drives, go through their source histories, all that shit, and pretty much un-fucking veil or uncover all of the nasty-ass shit that they did. So, yeah, again, crazy-ass shit, and I just thought of talking about it, because, again, it is some crazy-ass um, shit, and I wonder, like, again, well, what you guys think below, comment that down below. I think everyone's on the same page as this is crazy, this is fucking disgusting, and this is fucking viral, and luckily they caught these son of a bitches. And what's crazy is this shit, this kind of shit is only really the tip of the iceberg. Like, this shit goes as bad as we all know. It goes down to, like, a government level. Like, we have government officials paying into this shit. We have millionaires, billionaires paying into this disgusting-ass shit. So, again, luckily, we ca uh, they caught those, like, 14 disgusting people, but that's, like, almost like breadcrumbs and this kind of shit. Like, again, I'm grateful they caught the people, they helped out the 10 people, but, like, so it's, 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 like, a little dent out of the whole fucked up situation this all is. Um, and hopefully they catch more pieces of shit like this, and hopefully, yeah, again, it just... I don't know, it, I know we probably won't ever live in a perfect world, like, this is always going to be a, a, an issue, but hopefully it gets better, you know what I'm saying, hopefully they kind of catch more of these pieces of shit, that's all you can really do, um, and, yeah, it's, it's fucking, it, it's just, it, I, I, I'm lost for words, it's like, almost like going to Disneyland, you know, type shit, and going looking for, like, little kids and women just because you're a human trafficker and you want to sell them or whatever the fuck. It's, like, going to Disneyland to find your victims. It's, like, the fuck? It's, like, a whole bunch of families and just people trying to, like, you know, just enjoy the day. It's almost like play Halloween or dress up for the day or whatever the fuck. And it just, it's, like, you, you I don't know how, what I'm trying to say, but it's, like, Almost like you already had the normal creeps at this at these events because again, like I said, those like people who do cosplay and some women do reveal in cosplay, and then there are all those like type of dudes who go to these events who kind of don't get no putting, no play, or any of that kind of shit, and they kind of just you know selling the ass all day and all that kind of shit, and then they see oh hot girl and revealing clothing, so they kind of creep on the bitch, you already have that kind of shit, and then throw on top of that, you have human trafficking now, it's like, I almost never want to go to these kind of events, it's like, fuck all that, I'll buy the, your stupid knickknacks online, I'll watch your stupid shit online, you know, like, god damn, what the fuck, um, and it's like, this kind of shit has always been around, I just think, like, nowadays, obviously, with, like, it's like nowadays, like everyone's like, who's the next YouTuber that's going to be a pedophile next month or whatever? Who's the next pedophile? Blah, blah, blah. It's just, I think nowadays there's more talk about and people are hiding this shit. People are just like, oh, you're a pedophile? Expose, you know, just exposing that shit the second, um, you know, they find out or whatever the fuck, you know, um, the situation is. I feel like more people are getting exposed and then also less people are being quiet about this kind of shit. So I feel like it's more um, common now to hear about this kind of shit. As depressing as it is, it's kind of good to hear about this shit because, again, you hear shit like they arrested at least 14 of these pieces of shit. So at least like 14 human trafficking pieces of shit are taken off the road. Or off the streets, even though there's probably still millions out there, which is shitty and sad to think about. But at least it's a dent. It's some kind of dent in the population. And again, they're going to probably keep on trying to go after more people using these kind of tactics and shit. And they're probably going to find out better tactics and better ways and shit like that. And hopefully go catch more of these pieces of shit. 
But yeah, it's just kind of crazy to think about. And yeah, like I said, comment down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Like and subscribe. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.